In October 2017, Casio UK launched a G-Shock watch into the atmosphere. Defying the Earth's gravitational force, the watch reached the border of space and was then released. And this is Kiko eBay, known as the father of G-Shock for his role in its creation. But you may be surprised to learn his father also played a small role. OK, let's go back to 1981. A broken pocket watch lies at the feet of Kiko. The watch had slipped from his hand and now was a mess of broken pivots, wheels and springs. Time appears to slow in moments of horror. And as the watch tumbled from his hand, he could only look on in dismay as the inevitable fate of the falling watch became apparent. You see, this watch was a gift from his father. And this event would be a transformative moment in Kiku's life. Kiko Ibe was born June 15, 1952, in Fukuoka, Japan. A graduate of mechanical engineering from Sofia University, he joined Casio in 1976. Initially working in the design department, he was later assigned to the digital watch division for construction and development. Then one day in 1981, after taking out his watch and witnessing its fall, his life would forever change. The watch given to him by a proud father when he first entered high school carried a strong emotional bond. All too quick, sons grow up and dads get old. Young kids adore their dads, part Superman, occasional entertainment centre, and sometimes mindless fool. Father and son journey together through life in a million shared moments. A child's unconditional love, a parent's guiding hand. Fathers watch over us, teach us, protect us, and even allow us to make our own mistakes as we learn. Memories that are forever cut into wonderful relief. Kiko's watch was a ticking embodiment of parental love and in an instant it had broken. Sure, a watch can be repaired, but Kiko was haunted and this haunting manifested as intention, a determination to build a watch that could defy the consequences of gravity. Kiko was honouring a classical watchmaker's tradition of protecting a watch movement. Just like Bruguet back in 1781 when he first devised the parachute to protect the balance pivot of a watch. Just like the early development of the waterproof case or the introduction of Inca block in the late 1920s. But this watch was going to be different. This watch was going to be the most badass of them all. Kiko assembled a small group of engineers, codenamed Team Tough. They devised a simple triple 10 goal. 10 year battery life, 10 bar water resistance, and able to survive a 10 foot drop. They would trial over 200 prototypes. All of them failed the test criteria. 
and he was verging on disillusionment when he had a eureka moment. Watching kids playing with a rubber ball inspired him to encase the mechanism within a protective rubber structure. He designed a floating module allowing the quartz movement to float, cradled in rubber, surrounded by steel and hardened glass. And the strap design also offered protection against any fall. And the watch passed the triple ten goal. In 1983, the first G-Shock, the DW5000C, was launched. At first, sales were lethargic, until Casio USA launched a television commercial showing an ice hockey player using a DW5000C as a hockey puck to demonstrate the toughness of the watch. Sales started to climb, and G-Shock models continued to roll off the production line in increasing size, design and innovation. After strong sales in the late 90s, the brand slumped around 2001. But the gradual introduction of new models saw sales slowly rise through the 2000s. However, in 2010, Casio saw an expansion in sales. 2010 was the year that G-Shock's two most popular models ever were released. The GA110 was a hugely popular design and remains the most popular G-Shock ever sold. And in that same year, the GA100 was released, and this watch would become the second most popular G-Shock ever sold. 2010 also saw the introduction of Instagram, and this helped to fuel growth. And the watch was also increasingly used by the military, the police, and emergency services. The company is on target to raise global sales of G-Shock to 12 million watches, by fiscal year end 2022. And don't think Casio are sitting on their laurels. Even today, they still put G-Shock watches through a battery of tests. Acid baths, drop tests, actuation marathons, all take place in the G-Shock torture chamber. And here, Japanese TV and Kiko have fun. ジェンシャの体に G-ショックを巻きつけてジャンプして巻きつける。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大丈夫。これは大